नमस्कार वेलकम टू अवर चैनल बायो बाय गुलाब सर और विजडम कोचिंग सेंटर टुडे एज ए पार्ट ऑफ सीरीज ऑफ अवर लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट सेल डिविजन एज इट इज ए वाइटल प्रोसेस ऑफ डिविजन ऑफ सेल एंड प्रोड्यूस न्यू डॉटर सेल्स so as to have normal growth and development division of cells are of many types mitosis meiosis amitosis endomitosis and so on today we are going to learn about preparatory phase which required to undergo that cell division so cell has to get ready to divide and produce two new new daughter cell that phase of getting ready is known as interphase so today's topic is cell division and under cell division we are supposed to learn preparatory phase preparatory phase also known as interphase also known as interphase so what is it a cell suppose to undergo cell division it must get enlarged in size with prominent nucleus and dense cytoplasm so prominent nucleus does mean that nuclear material to be double to represent in each newly produced daughter cell as well as protein and rna and necessary material like other organelles and cytoplasmic content also has to be double as you know that that suppose to have two sets of anything therefore we have to raise that content and component which required to have the two sets of that things and same way in cell also <coughs> preparatory phase is a preparation of cell to get ready to undergo cell division so naturally it has to go through the process as that new cell which pro which undergo suppose cell division has to go through three sub phases like g1 phase synthesis phase and g2 phase all together this is called interphase or preparatory phase cell cycle is nothing but is a cell division cell cycle is a step wise events or series of events that supposed to occur to have the duplication of genetic material cytoplasmic content and organelles supposed to represent each set into newly produced daughter cell and that happen during this three synthesis phase s phase and g2 phase that what we have to learn under as a part of cell cycle that it is a cyclic regeneration of new cells cyclic regeneration of new cells so which composed of these sub phases a phase called g1 phase s phase g2 phase m phase and zero phase g0 phase this is also known as question phase question phase now what is g1 phase where rna and protein rna and protein are synthesized rna are of all type transfer rna messenger rna and <coughs> ribosomal rna are being synthesized this is point to be noted that is g1 proteins are synthesized at the same time all type of rna they are also synthesized and the phase where cell is metabolically active that means continue to produce protein by the process of transcription and translation which required for various functioning to control the unit now synthesis phase is nothing but replication of dna that two dna helix two dna helix are produced from single dna helix here for example suppose here this is one pair of chromosome suppose 
this is a one pair of chromosome that is 23 from mother 23 from father 23 from male 23 from female which undergoes e1 phase where protein and rna synthesis but when undergoes synthesis phase it get double that means here this monohaline chromosome this monohaline chromosome become bivalent by producing sister chromatid as replication of dna for example suppose a dna with this composition is like this here centromere and this is suppose chromatin that this if this undergo this s phase that means each dna has this replicated double helix of dna as sister chromatids same i have shown here genetic material become double during which phase synthesis phase now <coughs> G2 phase continue to have synthesis of RNA and protein. Synthesis of RNA and protein. A point to be noted down that in addition to this replication of DNA in S phase, synthesis of histone protein also occur. Synthesis of histone protein. Histone protein also produce during this synthesis phase. Rest of the other protein. which are required for entire process control of metabolism as well as cell division are produced during g1 and g2 phase now here what the cell which was having this size small size is now enlarged in size with prominent nucleus and then cytoplasm at the end of g2 phase and cell is ready now to undergo m phase that is cell division phase mitosis or meiosis or endomitosis or a mitosis here this cell is undergo now m phase to produce two daughter cells two daughter cells having equal number of chromosome in mitosis so that phase we have to learn in detail when we will learn about mitosis but this is what from here to here this phase is up to here this is called preparatory phase because cell is prepared for cell division also known as interphase because it is the phase between two cell division that is what this cell undergo division produce two new daughter cells and same cell once again undergo will division when it will get ready therefore this phase between two cell division is known as also known as interphase so remember what is interphase now this cell after formation these two two daughter cells which are produced they undergo g0 phase that is called question phase that is metabolically active but yet not decided to be to grow and undergo division or to grow and get differentiated to perform the specific function therefore g0 a phase is also called as a resting phase where cell is metabolically active although cell is metabolically active but still it is in dormant stage when cell enter into g1 phase g1 phase is the deciding phase g1 phase is the deciding phase whether cell has to enter into the cell cycle or get separated from that cycle and differentiate to attain specific shape and size to perform the specific function therefore here the cell which enter into the g1 phase will have decision that whether to enter into the permanent cell group of permanent cell or continue to be in the meristematic group of cells and that is what is a cell cycle i hope you did understand this preparatory phase this phase may have different time in different group of organism for example as a part of your syllabus it is given that yeast require 90 minute for cell division bacteria take 20 minute for cell division and in human being it is 24 hours required for cell division so out of this time 98 to 99% required for preparatory phase and only 1 to 2% required for cell division that mitosis phase so we can take it in this way out of 24 hour 1 to 2 hours take for cell division and 21 to 22 hours or 22 to 23 hours take for preparatory phase so it is a long long phase to how that cell to get ready 
for the cell division as this is a vital process without which that organism cannot reproduce and even if reproduce cannot develop as we are produced as a zygote single cell that undergo cell division after <coughs> interphase every time it grow get ready divide grow get ready divide and in a cyclic way that we turn into a group of millions of cells trillions of cells and therefore mitosis is a vital process cell division is a vital process in all living organism which is supposed to be either increased by their number in unicellular organism or grow and develop in multicellular organism i hope you got it <coughs> as cell cycle which is a part of cell division that was the first part of this lesson cell division cell cycle and cell division so here we do complete understanding about how cell get prepare for the cell division i hope you did understand even if you are in doubt you can ask in comment section i appeal you to like our channel and also subscribe it also join our test series to know your preparation thank you